Today we are going to talk about adding and subtracting and maintaining the appropriate number of significant figures when we add and subtract. This is going to be, I think, a little more straightforward and a little easier than multiplying and dividing. So without further ado, let's get started. If you look at the rules for addition and subtraction, they're both the same, and you don't actually have to care about significant figures at all. You only care about the number of decimal places. So your answer needs to have the same number of decimal places as the number with the fewest decimal places that you're subtracting or adding. So in this case, I don't care that there are one, two, three, four, five significant figures. That doesn't matter to me here. What matters to me are decimal places. How many decimal places here? There are three. How many decimal places here? There are two. So that means my answer should have the same number of decimal places as the number with the fewest decimal places. Not significant figures, but decimal places. So that means that the answer here is going to have two decimal places. I do subtraction like I normally would, and I get 30, but I have to make sure that I write 0 .00 to have the same number of decimal places as the number with the fewest. Here in this next example, I have 100, but there are no decimal places here. That means that my answer should have zero decimal places. And when I do the simple math, 100 minus 90.0, I get 10. I don't put any decimal places because the number with the fewest number of decimal places was 100, and it didn't have any decimal places. So let's take a look at some of these examples I have prepared for you. If you take a look here, 4.0 plus 3.22. Uh, as we go ahead and get started with that, I'm just going to grab a different tool here. And when you do this, you add them normally. So you would get 7.22 at first. And then you'd have to reassess and you would say, okay, well, there's one decimal place here and there are two decimal places here, which means that my answer should have only one decimal place. I go down and I look, and it has two decimal places. It's 7.2. I wrote it pretty sloppily. I apologize. And so that means that I have to round. I round the two to this next two here, and my answer should be 7.2. A little difficult to draw here using the mouse but I think you understand my point. Let's take a look at this next example. 6 plus 2.7. If you look at that, there are no decimal places here. There's one here. So when you initially do the math, you should get 8.7. But we know that 8.7 can't possibly be our final answer. And we know that because this first number doesn't have any decimal places. Therefore, I have to round the 7 to the 8, and I get a final answer of, you guessed it, 9. Okay, so that was for addition. Let's take a look at something like subtraction, which I have over here for you. If you add these numbers, same idea. Actually, you shouldn't add them. You should subtract them because they're clearly marked subtraction sign here. Um, and But if you do subtract them, you have the same idea, right? So you get decimal point, it's a zero here. Five minus two is three. And nine minus five is four. So it's 4.30. But wait, I'm not done because I care about decimal places here. So I, I have two decimal places here. I have one here. In order to make this correct, I just have to get rid of that zero. And now my final answer is going to be 4.3. 4.3 is my final answer because there's one decimal place here and there's one decimal place here. So I know that this is correct. Let's take a look. Same exact problem except the only difference is that I add a zero here, right? So now... There are two decimal places in 9.50. There are two decimal places in 5.20. And my answer needs to have the same number of decimal places as the fewest decimal places, which in this case, they're both two. So the fewest decimal places is two. I do the same math, and I get 
point three. But wait, I need two decimal places, so I have to be sure to include that zero here. Questions? Ask me in class because I can't hear you. It's a video. All right, next. Look at this one. I have 1.0000000000000000. I don't even know if I counted the correct number of zeros. Let's try again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11 decimal places. And you might want to even check it a third time because how can you count that many so easily? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 decimal places. This seems overwhelming. And I look at the next one. No decimal places. So my answer should have the same number of decimal places as the number with the fewest amount. I don't care about the 11. I went crazy thinking about it, but the number with the fewest amount is, of course, this number here, which has zero decimal places. So 1 plus 1 is 2. My answer is 2. I mean, you could write 2.000000 and then round so that you only had no decimal places. You could do that. But ultimately, you would wind up with a final answer of 2 because you wouldn't want any of those zeros included since there are no decimal places here. That's addition and subtraction, maintaining the correct number of significant figures. We will practice this in class tomorrow.